So remember, uh, not too long ago, there was Toy Fair, of course, uh, you know, everyone covers it. We always see a lot of great stuff. So of course, since me being a Ninja Turtles fan, you know, of course, I had to talk a little bit more about the next couple of figures that are set to come out based off of the um, new Ninja Turtles movie. And of course, on top of that, they plan on making a whole line based on the new series that comes out next year called Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Not to be confused for like the final season for like the 2012 show, because unfortunately, as great as that show was, it only lasted five seasons, and I guess, for the most part, the network kind of considered it a little bit of a failure, and then that was also when they announced Rise of TMNT, and then that became controversial, so, whatever, you know, it, it is what it is, it's the past, so, of course, we all gotta look forward to the future, so, of course, we were expecting to see some, you know, more toys, but obviously, well, we did, but maybe not as much because when they were showing off the booth, you know, like the the areas where they were showing off the new figures. So, of course, they showed off a bunch of stuff. A couple of figures we already have, a couple of figures that we are pretty aware of. And, of course, the next couple that are set to come out. Um, well, they say that the next wave comes out in November. But if I'm being honest with you, I'm seeing it everywhere online that it's starting to come out a little more earlier. So, okay, you know, it is what it is. I get it. The movie came out. Back in August. So yeah, that's... Yeah. You would think that'd be perfect timing to release, well, all the figures. But I get it. There's a huge variety of characters within the movie. So it's understandable that they wouldn't want to push so much out. You know what I mean? So I get it. They try to take their time. And then, of course, that's not even counting, you know, the new cartoon next year and all that. Uh, and, of course, the cartoon is supposed to be, uh, of course, taking place after the film. You know, it's... Uh, it's I believe it's meant to be 2D. And it's going to premiere on Paramount+. Plus. Yay. But, alright, there's some new toys. We can look forward to that, right? Well, here's the funny thing about the booth, though. So, apparently, people that went and they saw it in person, they are only allowed to film uh, a certain area. They were not allowed to pretty much film the entire section. Because there was an entire area just set specifically for Tales of TMNT. But, unfortunately, no one was really allowed to kind of go there. And I did make a, a video talking about how somebody actually did manage to sort of sneak in a little picture. Even though they obviously weren't supposed to. But now we got another picture that just came out of nowhere. And this one's regarding one of the vehicle sets. Which I think it's pretty important to talk about. And I'm going to explain why. So, I'm going to show you the uh, picture in question. So, just take a look. So this is the picture that's in question. So uh, I know it's a little blurry, but luckily I could read out at least a little bit of what it says. So of course it says Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, of course this is the uh, Purple Dragon Battle Cycle. And of course it comes with Raphael. That small little portion right there, it says Missile Firing Action. And uh, underneath it, of course, that's just the uh, motorcycle that came with Leonardo. Uh, yeah, also, I, I apologize for the audio change uh, when I was showing you the picture right there. Uh, I'm using the YouTube's creation app, and so far it's in its beta. It's, it's the beta version, so I know that it's not, like, 100% perfect. So I'm kind of testing it out, sort of seeing how it kind of works. So if you see some weird kind of changes here and there, I do apologize. But, hey, at least, like, at least it's good that I finally got... At least a little bit of some editing power that I can kind of use, even if it's not the greatest. So, of course, uh, back to the conversation. So, yeah, I I'm just saying, though, it's 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 good that we finally at least see a little bit of a peek, you know, like a little sneak peek of what's to become. But I did discuss it, uh, you know, in one of my videos talking about, uh, you know, the, uh, the exposure to the section. Where obviously playmates uh, don't really want you to see that. I mean, they said it themselves that that area is not ready for like photography. It's not ready to be filmed though. They're kind of waiting to get the okay. Uh, so obviously that's something we're not really supposed to see. But then again, toy leaks are very, very common. So it's like, I'm not really exactly sure... Uh, what what we could expect here and even if we don't get like a, a major punishment now we could get like a punishment later in the future and i'm going to explain what i mean by that um so i did discuss it i don't remember what it was i know that this is not the exact same but i'm going to use the example anyway because it can still affect us pretty much in a very similar matter uh basically i remember i think this was at this is at some i think it was dreamworks studios i'm honestly not too sure what it was uh it was for their show uh voltron it was voltron right yeah whatever so a fan managed to get like a sneak peek of like the creation of the show they met the animators and then they saw some of the story planning and all that so 
little sneak peeks here and there and that's great and then of course they're kind of sort of like spoilers to of what's to become because we all know that sometimes you know if you're lucky enough to get that special treatment hey you can at least see, see a little bit of a sneak peek as to what's uh, as to what to expect in the future and that's that's good you know kind of give you a little bit of a taste right the problem though is that a lot of these people you know from a business standpoint they don't want you to take pictures or take a look at this type of stuff and then sort of post it online because apparently there was actually uh, there was some information that went out about the show that was not supposed to be out and I, I'm guessing it was like maybe spoilers for like future episodes or like some stuff you know like some information that's not supposed to be not supposed to get out there you know I guess a better example too could be The Walking Dead, uh, where there was the part, um, I forgot, I don't know if it was season 6 or season 7, you know, for the premiere, uh, I know that there was a character that was supposed to die, you know, from, uh, god, wow, you know, my dad watches The Walking Dead so much, and I, uh, Negan, that was his name, okay, Negan, yeah, the guy with the baseball bat, you know, uh, of course, he was supposed to kill off a major character, and nobody's supposed to know who gets killed off or so, so there was a contracts made to make sure that that spoiler you know, for like whoever found out about it, whatever, and same for the actors, they do not spread this kind of information and stuff like that. So think of that situation with the Voltron issue, but not not to that extent, because at least from there, they managed to keep that secret, you know, uh, pretty good. You know, like we didn't, we, we literally didn't find out who died till the episode actually premiered. So that's great. We were spoiler free. However, I can't say the same thing for the other situation where the reason why uh the person leaked uh, a lot of that personal information it's because they were uh, actually holding the uh creators at ransom where they say that if they didn't make these two characters a couple or something like that like make it canon then they're going to show even more stuff and obviously when it comes to that that got hurt a lot of people in the future where now these studios won't let they won't let fans come in anymore take a look at the stuff and all that and that's you know that kind of hurts it a little bit, you know what I mean? So I, I hope that the same thing doesn't happen uh, when it comes to, like, you know, the, the toy industry and all that. I hope that when people leak uh, personal stuff like this, they be careful and then they don't, you know, they don't end up screwing future, you know, future collectors like myself over, you know. So, like, you know, how do, how do I say it? It's nice to get, like, some good sneak peeks and some new nice previews and then, of course, uh... You know, you get, like, a lot of people within the toy community and all that and these toy channels that, of course, talk about it and then they show it off. But there's only so much that they can show, you know, even with Pixel Dan being a good example where he did mention that, you know, during the, you know, the showing of the turtle stuff, uh, you know, he said himself that there's a lot more, you know, than what we saw, but they are not allowed to show it, of course. And that's completely understandable from a business standpoint because, if you show off what you have for your future stuff, then not only does it not come off as a surprise, but it's like, it, it, it's going to hurt the project. And, you know, you, you never know. Anything can happen at that point. So I would make this video talking about the figure itself because I get it. We're complaining about a motorcycle, but that's not even the point. The point I'm trying to make is that we really have to be careful with what information we leak online because that could, it could definitely bite us back in the future. And... If you're still a little confused with what I mean by that, uh, you know, these companies, they have reasons for why they will have to withhold this type of stuff. You know, that's like saying that if the MCU just completely revealed all their catalog of films for the future, you know what I mean? And to, and I, that's not a good example because I know technically they already did. But the point that I'm trying to make is that if this stuff was final, it's like you, you kind of know what to expect. There's no surprise no more. Not to mention, what if it makes people not interested? You know what I mean? You want them to actually see the product. You know what I mean? Like, if you just show off a whole bunch of, like, characters from, you know, the new cartoon and all that, and it's like, there's there's no there's no surprise. There's no, like, expectations anymore. You know what I mean? So, who knows? Only the future will tell. So, until then, that's about it. Uh, I don't think there's I don't think there's really anything else to talk about uh, regarding this issue. So we'll just kind of leave it at that and we'll see what happens uh, until then. Uh, like I said, I'm sort of experimenting with the YouTube cre uh, creation app. So if some weird stuff kind of happens, I do apologize. You know, just just bear with me. You know, it's it's completely new. Uh, I do have like a small little sneak peek video coming out tomorrow as well. And it's a pre-recording. Uh, it's just I let you guys know because I don't know if you saw on my channel it says as a premiere 
Uh, so until then, thank you guys for sort of joining in. I do apologize if I mess up my words a little bit too. I've been dealing with some uh, pretty bad allergies lately, so it's like it, yeah, gets to you. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. See you later.